Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is gonna be an unboxing of this here chair here, which is the OFM gaming chair. So sit back, relax, let's get this thing unboxed. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so as you can see here, got my new gaming chair just arrived today. Uh, this is the OFM Essentials gaming chair. As you can see, it doesn't say OFM anywhere. So this is pretty much just a generic chair that's sold by uh, a bunch of different sellers. Anyways, there's the model number right there, which is the ESS 3085GRY sending for gray. Now this is actually a two-tone color chair with a black and dark gray fabric. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what we're dealing with. All right, and here's everything out of the box. So I'll start over here with the base. So I'm seeing some markings here. I'm not sure if that's gonna be like rubbed off or if those are scratches or what, but it looks like it's coming off. Maybe it's just some powder or something like that. But there's that. There's the five wheels. This of course is mounted directly under the actual seat cushion, which is right there. This is your gas strut right there. Some basic instructions. It's more of a blueprint of where everything goes, not really like a Step one, do this or whatever, but there's that. This is of course the entire backrest with the headrest up there. These are your two adjustable armrests. Um, they basically just go up and down. And then here's all your bolts. So it looks like it does use the same size Allen wrench there. And then there's just some trim pieces and then some things to cover up the, uh, the little screw holes which are right there. And that's that. So let's go ahead and put this thing together and I'll show you how to do it right now. All right, so the first step is to start with your base. So you're gonna to wanna to install your wheels and then install the actual gas strut in the center there. So let's go and turn this upside down. And it looks like these just basically snap right into place. There is a little compression ring right there, which uh, basically cinches it down and holds it together. So let's go and pop these in. Just watch your fingers while you're doing this, by the way. Okay, now take your gas strut and there isn't really like a front or back to this. You just basically just snap it straight down into there. And I'm guessing you should hear some type of click or pop or something. It's basically just uh, smaller as it gets lower, so. It doesn't really pop into place or anything like that. So I'm guessing that over time, as you sit down in the chair, this will start to drive in more. So let's go ahead and move into the cushion. So put this down. There's a sticker noting the front of the this actual seat. And then you wanna install your plate here and it is actually stamped with the word front and an arrow pointing front as well. Go and line that up with your four screws. All right, so I got my two screws out here and these are actually marked rear. So those go back here. And you're gonna want to, of course, thread these in by hand at first. All right, there you go. 
All right, and step three is literally just plopping this right on top of your base. So I'm gonna do that now. And to install these, there's basically two screws on each side. So I'm just gonna pop these in right now. I'm actually gonna leave these kind of loose only because it does have a little bit of rocking. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage of leveling out the top piece. If it needs to go up or down on one of the sides, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So let's go ahead and do the same for the other side here. All right, now this is kind of the tricky part where it might even help to have two people, but basically, just going to try to hold this while screwing this down as well. All right, as you can see, I'm trying to support it with one hand and screwing the screw with the other. So it kind of takes a little bit of body English to get the whole thing together. So I'm going to tighten that up first, go over here on the other side, do this top hole, and then finish off the bottom screws. Here is the chair all put together. Oh, that is comfy. Woo. Some nice fabric here on the armrest. Of course, all of these do fold up if you need them out of the way. Feels pretty sturdy overall. This does recline and the tension is actually adjustable via this knob down here underneath the chair. So righty tighty lefty loosey. Yep, uh, that does lock as well. So as you can see, I can't recline. Once I pull that back out, reclining is back and all good to go. Uh, here's the range in height. So nice and tall posture there and nice and low there. This seems pretty nice as well. All right, I was taking a closer look at the chair here and I did notice some fabric here. I thought this was actually a tear, but it's not. The, uh, the seam's nice and tight. It's actually some of the uh, cotton fabric sticking out from the stitching. So I could probably just cut this off or just maybe just try to pull it without pulling too much out, but that's just something I wanted to point out there. Um, I'll probably try to cut it. I don't want to try to pull out more than what's in there. But again, the cushion feels nice and firm. It's not too soft and not too firm, but it feels like it should last Quite a bit it's definitely nice and thick as well so hopefully that will last now the actual back of the chair does not recline independently it's locked with uh, this here piece as well so you're pretty much locked in that position so this is as upright as it goes and it is a little bit slack back so you could add a pillow back here if you need to but i think it's going to be just fine for my my usage there so anyways that was the assembly and first impressions of the ofm gaming chair. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.